still, you, he needs, he's going to need some help in the, in the lane, I believe, Five though, in that case. Because Oscar doesn't care about his mana. So you can't just win the lane by repeatedly. Oh, oh my, that's pick. a core Venno coming out. More than likely, anyway. There's an Elder Titan and an Oracle already, so this Venno has to be core for OG. You can see that Blink is running a little bit low on mana, but he does have level 2 laser and level Courier 1. snipe mid lane. It's a potential chance. His innocence is going to come through. He's got Dyer's plenty of range, and one right click killed. will do the job. And on it was a stick and a set of tangos for no tail. And he's got no more regen with the exception of that fairy fire. Um, Time to jungle. Level 2 firefly, level 1 stick and apom. I got plenty. And they're going to give the lane to Ice Ice here. There is a dire observer ward, so they know he's alone. And Fly is going on him. He just doesn't have. Damage, he needs one more purifying flames, he's out of range, and he will get the kill fly with just enough range to get that purifying flame kill. That was close. It looked like he was out of it. That yeah, was really long. So that was the longest range purifying flames. He might need some life steal to do these engines, but then again with God's strength to die so fast anyways that you might not need it. Just let the ogre tank. <laughs> Throw the beefcake. I'm sure he won't, he's e he won't even feel pain. Not anyway. tanky enough, but they are going to smoke up and they're going to wrap. And I think Blink might have spotted this out. Dyer's and this going to be the Chrono Spear as Moon comes in. Miracle will come through as well. He's got the spirits. He's got life break. They even ulti on Shadow as well. And Grit looking for that stomp. He's got it ready to go. The Force is in first. Will hit up the stomp. Will fall up next. And now he actually misses. They get the lasso back the lasso. LD. And then Fly's not out of position. That means Huskar's going to have to be more careful. Miracle does not have his Oracle to keep him alive. That probably ends the push for OG. Gonna be around the pit though. They have to deal with the Ven Awards, the Chronosphere. I still think it's very risky for Wins to take it, but OG have other plans. They might not be around the pit, Aldi. They're gonna head into Dyer's the jungle, and OG are looking for that Chronosphere. Faith Beyond's gonna walk up, and he's gonna get caught. Life break will go. Jump in Chrono on to two. Faith Beyond Lasso is up, but he will fall. They get off the ultimate from No Tail as well, and it looks like it will be three dead. Miracle getting low, but there's the Faith Phoenix, and Ice Ice about to go down. No Tail getting caught by Shadow. Can they deal with this fence? The laser comes in and blink with the mark. Moon has to escape, and it turns into a three for three as Wing with Shadow and Tinker alone. They are able to actually help out and even this fight up. Whew. Not happening. The missiles, it just doesn't do enough damage with the level four Berserker's blood. It's just not enough. So I feel like Wings have really broken the, the OG tempo here. They're, they're down in gold. Oh, big dunk bottom. We're gonna go with the life break in. Now the TPs are gonna come through though. Blink coming in. False promise will come out. They get the stop off and Blink is in a lot of trouble. Fortune's Dead will come through. The blind is still there. The Chrono does hit on the innocence, but barely as well as Faith Beyond. Here comes that Earth Splitter. Will it hit on the two? It's just the one, but Faith Beyond is low. Moon in trouble. Ancient Seal is out there. And they're chasing down innocence, LD. Might lose Faith Beyond as well. The stop just a bit short. He dodges out of the blast zone. They are pushing the top lane during this time. God strength pulling down in three seconds. Oh, Radiant's in. middle tower. And he wants to slow attack. this down. Got, he used his Gale. But Ogre's coming back. Ooh, good ultimate. No tail though. The Echo Saber. He's in trouble. They're gonna have a fire Radiant's blast. There it is. Tower. He needs to get out tower. though. TPs are coming. Yeah, Boy, no chrono. He's gonna have to get a first hit bash. Well, or you can just go for Ice Ice. That works too. Time Radiant dilation there. It's gonna slow him down a fair bit. But I don't think Moon alone can do this. Is Moon feels like a wet bottom. noodle right now. Yeah, he just does. I mean, against Ice Ice with plenty of armor, 13, in fact, is not enough. Dyer's top tower. It's more than enough somehow to keep him alive. Mark is gonna miss here. Now the second one will come through. Age has Radiant been reclaimed, and they will know. The miracle needs to be a bit more careful now. Four, they find Ice Ice. Two stops attack. from crit. A long range Radiant's initiation. They look for a lasso. They're going to find Miracle. Counter initiation. Corner screen out there. They can stomp on the moon. He's in trouble. The face beyond. Here, fine flames. Miss Declare off the mark. Stop coming through. It hits up beautifully on the two. Jump in, moon. Still has that chrono, but he's going to settle. Ice Ice is in here. Moon, no, goes down to the pure damage of that laser. They still get two, though. They lose the Bat Rider as well as the Ogre on the side of wings. Tempted to crack that Aegis. That Fate Phoenix saved Miracle's life. Very close. Two minutes for that Aegis still. They, they're not doing... Well, actually, they did decent damage with the tower. Here we go, though. The wraparound from Wings. They're going to lead the way with the Batrider. And they get a Blink Lasso. They want to Lasso the target. Oracle here. Oh, Fly's in trouble. He's going to get caught. They're going to bring him back. And now he can't fall on it himself. Storm Hammer. And here comes the Sven LD. Oh, oh God. It's Dragon Time to Shadow. Straight into the Eagles. They're going to ignore the Huskar for now. Come back to him. A triple kill for Big Daddy Shadow. Merit pulls down as well. A wipe. And somehow Huskar salvaged the fight.
Uh, I'd say no. Silence up Storm Hammer, locked down in place. It's an ultra kill for Shadow when it's all said and done. He's hitting from a 600 and attack with Bloodlust. Even with an Aegis, OG is still going to have a very hard time doing anything with it. Oh, Moon. Good time walk. He was very close to getting versus down. Great trying to chase him down. Stop. Again, it's going to be too short. He has the Yules instead. The stop will go. Blink going down here will be huge. They've got Corona Spirit. Double He's going to use it. The Earth Spitter will come out. His Blink is in trouble and dies to Crit's <laughs> giant ultimate. That was a great catch from the Yule Scepter and a little bit of too much aggression from that. Uh, Oh, mid lane. Now they find Ice Ice mid, Wayne's getting sloppy here, thinking it's a one game, but it ain't entirely over yet, and that hero does not have 5 act. no Ogre. Seed or... Yeah, they want to go to top, that's the lower yes. HP tower. They don't have to creep wave here though, so they're only going to have this one moment to siege it. it does get it in time, but Shadow's working on it. It's gonna connect on him. Playing great coming through, Miracle push back at that age, is gone with the Storm Hammer and Laser coming out. They have no chrono again. Yule Shifter will come through. Time walk out of six. Time late. Time to let Guy Lacy. There's the last to be a good false promise. Jump in. Faith Beyond might be in trouble. Mystic Flare is already down. And Faith Beyond's low. Will die to the Poison Sting. Stop is up. Shadow's BKB. Not doing enough. The false promise was great. They're going to work in the right. Shadow's going to be back in. Let's say Panic is down now. Through. He needs a phase in. But there it will stay alive. Not going to happen. Oh, it was close though. It really was. They kill just about everyone in that fight. Tinker gets himself a triple kill with that laser. Maybe to try and take the next Roche. Hell, Ogre can get an Aghanim Scepter. He's closing in on that, so... I don't think Wings are in any hurry. And, no, and rushing not. it is where they could potentially throw the game. But that's what we saw earlier when the Ogre died, when Blink died, when he got caught out in Blink. Oh, man, he almost finished that TP. In fact, they might think he did. They might think he TP'd and blinked across <laughs> in the tree line, but... Yeah, they know the Tinker dieback is the key. And they're waiting for it. Oh man, he keeps <laughs> hey doing it. He, they, I hey feel guys. Like he knows. I feel like Blink knows. Uh, he definitely knows. He's like, hey guys, I'm coming bottom. <laughs> really? Coming bottom. Not really. They're gonna be, it's too late. They can't get there in time. But they can split push top effectively. They have vision on fly. This is kind of tempting. They know where the Oracle is, but that's hunting him. For it. There's the Yule Scepter. Flying might get caught. Chrono Spears ready for Moon. Fly. Shadow gets just blown away with, of course, his right foot damage. It's too much, and Moon will follow suit. And now Miracle down in the river. He's isolated. He's getting blown up by an Oracle and Skywrath Mage. They almost kill poor Miracle. You got a Satanic ready. It's one for two right now. BKB TP. No way to stop it. And Shadow will get out. And he was getting rather low be able to move around the map a bit more effectively. We do see an ultimate orb for the Venomator. What are you thinking? I mean, there's only a couple of options, obviously. One of them being Link Sphere. Scotty would be very, very surprising to see that. Hex is probably... Oh, Moon! Oh, God. He just respawned, and he dies. He's dead. He's already dead, guys. He actually had enough for buyback before he, he came back into the lane. Now he doesn't, but it'll be up in, like, 10 seconds anyway. He's actually Stop up right hitting now. him. Poor Moon. He had some good chronos this game, but it's, not, it's just not enough. Shadow, Shadow, so it's the whole bottom lane. Lasso's go. gonna come through and they will catch the cradle. No, Faith Beyond Slow, Dagon Laser. There's no tell next. Yeah, they're gonna die to the Mystic Flare. Crit's gonna limp away, but only for a moment. As Link comes in, shoots him down with the laser. Zap, zap, indeed. Three dead now. And they're about to be done waiting it out. If this was anybody other than Shadow, I would say Miracle could find this kill. Unfortunately, it is uh, Shadow. Shadow will destroy him in a 1v1. Shadow Blade comes out. Now they're trying to fight. You can see Brady's going to get Yules up at this point in time. He's in trouble. Flame breaks back. And here comes Shadow without the God Streak mind. He's still doing some serious work. Stomp comes out. They had to use the False Promise on Chris. They get off the ult from the Veno. They jump in. Shadow's BKB is off. He's going to work. They have to kid. They got both of these heroes. He's waiting on that man Silver Edge, though. The Silver Edge, a couple seconds to go. He's got the face giving up this man fight. He still has the Satanic. He's getting low. He's a burning spear. He's about to die as well. He's got five back. Meanwhile, the Tinker's Mark is going to work. They have one fly. Moon comes in, still has the Chronos here, but he's out of mana. Oh, he didn't get the Silver Edge off on the Huskar. That completely changes that engagement. And they want to do three instead, and they're doing some serious work with the Assault Karas. And Vitaly will come out. False Promise will be up when he's alive in 15 Radiant's seconds. Still, they're missing their Oracle. Big detriment to this fight. Mark will come through. Stomp hits him with his face beyond. They take down the tier 3 tower, LD. Look at this practice. One low. Lash is going to come out. They're 
comes, and nice slow to start, but the lasers will come through, and the Mystic Flare, they're jumping in, they get the Chrono on the flank, can they get it done? Sven forced to ride back, he has Silver Edge, he's got his whole combo ready, can he turn this fight the way he did earlier, top moves running, Miracle's running, Shadow on the chase, but he doesn't have that much mobility, Missile's raining in, but they managed to find the Elder Titan, so Stop three do fall, they hold the high ground, but it cost them a double core buyback, and wow. they lost the range rack wow. to the tier three. Oh my god. Sven was so close to respawning there. Jumped him there, I think, with the chrono. If he was alone, he could have just died there and the game oh, could great. potentially be over. But what a dead. blink dagger. That was insane. He was waiting for it, basically on about to last. So they're looking up for Sven. Moon comes in. He actually gets off the chronosphere onto the Sven. Shadow Earth is going to come through next. No BKB. They get up the hex in time. He might go down. He's got no buyback if he falls. And he's dead. That's it. Ice Eyes might be next as well. Everyone low for OG from the Mars, but 103 seconds without that Sven. Down this first set of racks of the game, and Miracle will do the job. Flip, it is Radiant's not there, I don't ranks. believe, and they will take it down. And as one set of racks will move up to top, Miracle and Moon, they're going to work. They still have Satanic up to Miracle, they did a false promise, the laser comes down, Moon. Time walking off that damage, and the racks, the melee racks top lane, more than likely about to fall, Radiant's and it will. And how do they initiate the fight? Oh, it's yeah, the double the axe! No. The Mystic Flare, they do take down one, and then it's gonna be flying the Oracle. Who might be next, though, in Miracle? The laser comes through, they have to get out. Spends up in 20, two lanes of racks down. Spawned. I don't see Wings tapping out until the throne is dropped with how good their late game is, but Miracle stands his ground. He's going to heal up on the creeps. Ice Ice likely wants to go back in. A fresh volley of missiles coming for Sven, respawning in 10. That is the cue for OG to back out. A really good fight from Wings to turn it around. Miracle is chopping down his tower, spearing Radiant's it down with his double back. damage. Three. That's going to run out. Wrap around might take too long. Oh, they're going to glyph. Fortified. Miracle likely just going to back. No, the smoke. counter smoke. No tail has been found out first. He gets the hex up in time and no tail. He gets off the ultimate. There's the Chronos Fuel, hits on the shadow and face beyond. And Miracle just getting blinded by Blake. He's gonna TP out to put the abyssal cancels that they're gonna lose the Tinker here. They might lose Megas as well. Tinker trying to TP out, cannot make it in time. Spend He's down for 83 seconds. Spend the hex up again. And Moon will try to bring it down. Meanwhile, Miracle has got Megas LD. Innocence now caught in the fountain. OG pulling a rabbit out of the hat. Shadow. And he's somehow salvaged this fight. He's so used all slowed. his cooldowns. Miracle's gonna come in and wreck him. Oh, what a magic style from Moon. And here comes Miracle. Shadow being kited in now. The ultra kill from Miracle will almost certainly end the game. And OG. Look at me. There he is. the carry now, says Miracle. And OG will salvage what looks like a lost game. Oh, Wings are gonna be kicking the It's a rampage at the end. Fittingly, he ends it with a rampage, but this was not the Miracle Show. This was, more than anything, a team effort by OG and some big blunders by Wings. You yes. have to be very frustrated with how this game ended. Are we talking